You're listening to Tim Bolkley's Five Minute Bible. Type Scenes and the Book of Ruth You know what typecasting is. That's when an actor or character is not required to behave unexpectedly. You say to yourself something like, That's how Judy Dench always acts. Typecasting A type scene is similar. It's a scene that plays out in expected ways. You know, two cowboys walking slowly, deserted street. They near each other. Conventional shot of townsfolk hiding. The gunfight in a western movie has a type scene. In biblical narrative, Robert Alter pointed out a striking example. The betrothal narrative. Guy, foreign land, a well, a girl, water, the girl hurries home, invitation to a meal, and the betrothal. Living happily ever after was not a part of the typical biblical type scene. Just read the stories in Genesis. Type scenes are convenient for authors. They give us the ease of expectation. We know what to expect, and the author knows that we know what to expect, and so doesn't need to tell us. So. The authors of Bible stories just have to tell us about a guy in a foreign land, near a well, seeing some girls, and you know what to expect. Wedding bells. But type scenes also allow the author to give us the joy of surprise, and to give themselves the joy of play. So imagine our gunfighters walking slowly towards each other with ominous music, and they pull out their mobile phones and swap ringtones the joy of surprise and play. So it is with the biblical type scene of the betrothal. The telling of betrothal stories is tailored to the characters. So Jacob, the cheat, is in a foreign land because he diddled his brother. Macho man Jacob doesn't wait for the other guys to turn up but rolls the stone himself, heavy as it is, as soon as Rachel arrives. And following the betrothal Jacob's character is further developed as he and his cousin Laban seek to outcheat each other in the succeeding years. Or take the case of Moses. Moses is in Midian. How, oh, for his betrothal scene, he chases off the ruffians at the well. Moses the deliverer. Or Isaac. <laughs> yeah, for Isaac's type scene, he's not present. It's Abraham's servant who goes to a foreign land and sees the girl at the well and all the rest. Isaac always is the patriarch who wasn't there. Now turn to the book of Ruth. Where, you say, is the type scene in Ruth? The betrothal and marriage in the foreign land all took place in the first five verses of chapter one and there was no time for wells and all that nonsense. Now, look at chapter two. The type scene in Ruth is all upside down. It's not a guy in a foreign land, it's a girl in a foreign land. Except she's no girl, because she's a widow ten years married. And the foreign land is Bethlehem. And there's no hurrying. This is one of the slowest sections of a fast-paced book. And all the way through, Boaz plays the female lead. It's Boaz who offers the meal. You see, in Ruth, the type scene is all upside down, and especially the gender roles are upside down. All our expectations are confounded, and especially our expectations of gender roles are confounded in Ruth chapter 2, in the betrothal scene. Well, actually, the betrothal takes place in chapter 3, but we won't worry about that. In chapter 2, you've got a girl in a foreign land, you haven't got a well, but you've got the water that Boaz men have drawn from the well. And you've got a meal with the parched grain and the rest that Boaz offers to Ruth. The guy playing the girl's role and the girl playing the guy's role. And both of them too old anyway for their parts. Not type casting, but a type scene nonetheless. Try spotting some other sorts of scenes that play out a few times in the Bible, and see if you can spot the 
common factors and the differences because if you spot them the differences that is you'll have some clues as to what's going on in the story or at very least to what kind of person the character you're looking at is bye for now <laughs>